Hey everybody, welcome back. If you're new, my name is Chris. Today's video is about one of my favorite perfume categories for the summer, tropical, beachy, exotic fragrances. These perfumes make me feel like I am on an exotic resort, even if I am not. So these fragrances contain notes that I associate with the tropics. So we have some beautiful tropical florals, ylang ylang tiare, frangipani, hibiscus, gardenia tuberose. I've got some fragrances with some delicious tropical fruits, guava, mango, melon, and some fragrances that combine all of those notes with a little bit of coconut. I'm not going to focus too much on coconut since I already did a dedicated coconut video about a month ago. Before I get started, I know we would all love it if you would share your favorite tropical exotic fragrances with us in the comments below. And with that, I'm going to dive right in because I think I have around 20 perfumes. I'm gonna start off with a couple of Ormond Jane fragrances. I am loving the house of Ormond Jane. And these perfumes are a couple of fragrances I picked up last year and have been loving them. I find them very easy reaches in the summer. The first one is called Frangipani. This is a very lime forward fragrance that has lime, linden blossom, and of course, Frangipani. So when this opens up, it's a very lime forward fragrance. Not only do you have lime, but you have linden blossom, which is kind of a honeyed floral or a blossom that has a honeyed nuance, but it also has a little bit of lime overtones or undertones, and it has frangipani in here. So in the beginning, it's very tart, it's fresh, it's zingy, it's quite citrusy. It might be a little bit too much lime for some people, but that does fade and then it becomes kind of a gauzy, musky floral. And in the dry down, I really do get some sort of like a plum or a peachy apricot sweetness. It's very subtle. It's very classy and a very feminine fragrance. Next, I have Champaka. Boy, I wore this a lot last summer. Again, it's another one of my easy reaches. I do wear this to work because it wears lightly and it has a light scent bubble, but it is gorgeous. This perfume smells like a tea you would get at an exotic luxury tropical resort. So, so Champaka to me smells like an apricot tea, apricot tea with a little bit of milk. So you've got that apricot tea. There's also green tea in here, bamboo. So it's very light, it's very fresh. It smells like a tropical spa. This has rice in it. This has an accord of rice. I really don't get that. I get the bamboo. I get this light green tea with a little apricot. Some musk, some other light florals, maybe freesia. It's light, it's fresh, it's clean, it's bright, it's slightly exotic and a little bit luxurious. Again, like a luxurious tea one would get at a tropical spa. I love it and it does wear lightly so I tend to go a little bit heavy on the trigger. If I do that, I can get at least half a day. The next fragrance is one of my strongest fragrances in my collection. It looks like I have never worn it because I only spray like two to three times. This is Hibiscus Mahajad. This to me smells like a luxury hibiscus tea. There is just a little bit of mint in here. There's rose in the background and a huge dollop of vanilla ice cream. So it is very, very sweet. This is perfect for the spring and summer because it just feels so tropical and exotic, but you do not want to go heavy on the trigger because it is so strong. And this is one of the perfumes that people literally will smell me down the hall and around the corner last all day. Very persistent. So most of the perfumes in this video are going to be a little bit on the higher end or not super budget friendly because I just did a video last week that was dedicated to my budget friendly picks for summer. So one that is budget friendly that I'll be showing today is this Body Spray Brazilian Crush 68. This one has like pink dragon fruit and jasmine in it. I just, mm, this smells so good. I do think it has like a little undertone or slightly reminiscent of something in the range of Baccarat 540 but it has that nice juicy, like tropical juicy fruitiness and a little bit of floral undertones. This is one you can just go to town, reapply. This will never get overwhelming. It's delicious. It's one of my favorite body sprays. So the next fragrance is probably one many of you might consider a little bit vintagey. It was created, I think in 1996. I didn't pick it up till maybe middle or early 2000s. It is Tropics in a Bottle for me because I picked it out specifically 
for my trip to Bali and every time I wear it, I'm like immediately transported to that beautiful tropical island. It is called Frangipani by Shantakai. This is a sweet, very tropical, vanillic yellow floral. So the most prominent florals to me are Frangipani and Alang Alang. Very, very prominent, but it also has an undertone of water hyacinth, and I get that right in the beginning. Starts to fade in the middle, but water hyacinth to me smells a little bit like lilac. It's not a tropical floral, but it's in there. It also has, I wanna say like violet leaf, which gives perfumes a little bit of a cucumbery freshness. This is on the heavier side. It wears more heavily because it does have a lot of vanilla. So it's very sweet, very vanillic, a little bit ambery, yellow, tropical floral. I love it. This lasts all day. And I only wear this in the summer because it just reminds me of a tropical getaway. Kind of on the other end is more of a light, breezy, gauzy, beautiful tuberose perfume that I love. It's very special to me. It is called Tuberose by Le Galion. Now, the only thing about this is I've only found two places that sell decants, but I wanted to talk about it anyway because it is one of my favorite tuberose perfumes. And anytime I have somewhere to go that's on the special side or it's a special occasion, I reach for this or another perfume because it just has good memories and it's so pretty and it wears lightly so you're not going to overwhelm those around you. This is that tuberose that smell, that has a banana vibe. So this is that tropical white floral with a little bit of a banana vibe, but it also has a little bit of a greenness in here. Now, it does definitely remind me of the original Michael by Michael Kors. I loved that perfume when it first came out. It's been subsequently discontinued. So if you're looking for a perfume that smells like this, this is very similar. The differences are, I find this a little bit lighter. It's a little bit more gauzy. It's just a little bit better composed. Michael was very, very loud and a little bit, I don't wanna say it was loud and screechy. This one is a little bit more delicate and demure. I absolutely, oh, this is just so beautiful. One of my favorite tuberose fragrances at the moment. For the next fragrance, I'm gonna be traveling to the tropical, very luxurious and hip island of Ibiza off the coast of Spain. This perfume right here is called Ibiza Nights. I picked it up last summer and I loved it last summer and it was a big hit anytime I wore it around my friends. So this is a tropical white floral with some fruity sweetness and a touch, a little touch of spice. So the flowers in here, we have a Lang Jasmine and a little bit of Magnolia. This also has a nice fruity sweetness. So this has pear and mandarin orange, I believe. The note of star anise is in here. It scared me just a little bit because I don't like fragrances that are overly licorice forward. This does not smell like licorice at all. I get zero licorice. I might pick up a touch. I mean, the slightest touch of like an ambery, spicy sweetness way in the dry down. This thing has terrific lasting power. It lasts all day. If I spray like seven or eight times, it will last all day and one that I have worn to work before and shockingly was universally loved by everybody who smelled me. The next one, we're gonna travel to the tropical, very hip city of Miami with one of my favorite perfumes of last year. This does not look like I've used a lot of it because one of the beautiful things about this company is they carry all sorts of sizes. So they carry the little samplers, they carry the travel sizes, and they carry full bottles. So I always start off with a travel or a sample. I got a travel spray, fell in love and knew I wanted to get a full bottle. I wore this on my vacation last year to Florida and so every time I wear it, I just think of a beautiful beachside tropical vacation. So this is a super interesting and unique perfume. I have nothing in my collection that smells like it and it's very unisex and somehow it works so well in the summertime even though there is the note of tobacco but it is balanced with this gorgeous note of rum. So there's rum, there's sugar cube, there's a little bit of lime and the slightest hint of a saffron. Ugh, it is just so addictive, so gorgeous. I highly recommend checking out the brand and I have one more from the house I will be showing later. Again, terrific lasting power and beautiful projection. Next time I'm gonna be showing the Malachite sisters. We have Vert Malachite and Rouge Malachite. Rouge Malachite has lots of white florals 
jasmine tuberose, a little bit of orange blossom, very creamy, very ambery, a very elegant, elevated, beautiful, tropical perfume that I absolutely love. And to me, it just screams spring and summer. I actually think I like Vert Malachite a little bit better. This is even more buttery, more sweet, more creamy, and it has more of a tropical vibe for me because it has a heavier note of Alang, even though I do think that Rouge Malachite probably has a little bit of Alang in here, Alang in it, but it's more prominent here. Again, this is sweeter. This is a little bit more buttery. It's a little bit more creamy. This has the slightest touch of a lily in it, which I absolutely love. And it is just super, super tropical without at all smelling like sunscreen or suntan lotion. Absolutely beautiful. I love it. This one, you do have to be careful in the heat because it's quite heady. It's rich, it's strong, it's butter, it's sweet, it's floral, it's beautiful. But if you wanna smell like a tropical goddess, the next fragrance is absolutely perfect for this video. It's by Maya Njai and it is called Tropica. This is for all my viewers out there who are always asking me to show more cleanly formulated fragrances. So this is a tropical, fruity, salty perfume with a little bit of a coconut water. So this is really strong in the pineapple department when you first spray it. It's pineapple-y and it has this ambergris, I wanna say, so it's very, very salty. And I think it has a little bit of orange or mandarin in the beginning as well. So it's really, really thick, super fruity, a little bit syrupy with a little offset of that salty ambergris. Now, as this dries down, it becomes more lighter wearing, it's lighter, it's like a fresh tropical breeze met in an exotic spritzer. So I do get a little bit of a green fig or a fig leaf in the dry down and a beautiful, very light sandalwood in the dry down as well. I took this down to Houston in March and it was already warm down there and I, this was my kind of out and about perfume during the day and it just was perfect because it's light wearing. It's never gonna be overwhelming, but you're just kind of engulfed in this really nice, beautiful scent bubble. The next one is just like a tropical ambrosia or a tropical fruit salad. It's absolutely delicious. This is happiness in a bottle. This is my Sunplosion by Simone Andrioli. Again, this is just like a sweet, fruity, tropical explosion. You have mango, there's guava, there's pineapple, there is Lime, I wanna say a little bit of hibiscus, some coconut water or coconut nectar, but it wears on the lighter side. It's not a heavy perfume. It's a creamy, sweet, refreshing, fruity gourmand that I absolutely love. Again, it smells like a tropical fruit salad or a tropical ambrosia without all the thick vanilla sweetness. The only negative is, is that it wears lightly, so I can usually get around four hours. I take a little decant with me, a travel decant. I have a travel spray that I purchased separately. I carry that in my bag. And if I need to last for it to last all day, I will just reapply. And I love to layer this with several Bath and Body Works lotions. Just love these. If you're a Nepo baby, you are the recipient of a trust fund or you want to smell like that on your way to an exotic tropical vacation, I have the perfect fragrance for you. I discovered this last year, fell in love. I discovered it with the beautiful travel sizes. I wanna say this is 15 mLs. So this line is very luxurious. It is an elegant line. They are carried at Harrods and some very nice department stores. So it has a higher price point, but this is absolutely delicious. So if you love the perfume, you fall in love with the fragrance, you can always get the smaller decant while still appreciating the scent. And it's definitely one of my favorite, more luxurious, perfumes. Everything about this is luxurious from the scent to the packaging. This is another one of those white floral perfumes that has a banana-esque vibe. It's absolutely gorgeous. The main flower in here is tuberose, but it also has some jasmine. I want to say a splash of orange blossom. It has a little bit of a pepperiness, and I want to say a little bit. It's not pink pepper, black pepper. It is Sichuan pepper, and I find that to be a little less piercing, particularly in the background, but it gives it a little bit of depth and spiciness. And this is all swimming in this beautiful ambrette. Oh my gosh. So as it begins to dry down, it just becomes this banana pudding, banana-esque 
tuberose white floral perfume with a beautiful sandalwood in the base. The next one I almost didn't bring up because it's really difficult to find, at least here in the United States. It is from the Chloe line, and this is called Alang Kanaga. Now, almost every one of these fragrances from this line is carried at Nordstrom, so they're easy to get. I bought this at Selfridges last year when I was still a member of the Universal Shipping, like you pay like $50 and for a year you get free shipping. Well, that changed. So even if you got the shipping for free, like it was $50, $60 of other ridiculous add-ons. So I stopped buying from Selfridges even though it is still carried there. But it is so, so beautiful. This is one of the prettiest Ylang Ylang perfumes. It's tropical, but it is not heavy. It's sweet, it's light, it's airy, it has a touch of fruitiness. I mean, just a touch. A little bit of citruses and again, that beautiful, buttery, creamy Ylang Ylang that's not heavy and not plasticky. Sometimes Ylang Ylang can smell plastically, plasticky, at least to my nose. It is just so beautiful and light and tropical and fresh and slightly fruity, a little bit gauzy. The only thing similar to this is I used to long, long ago, I had a travel size of at least 42, I wanna say by Lilabo. They smell very similar. That one had more of a lily note and the tuberose was a lot stronger, but if you liked that one, you're gonna, I think, love this one. As long as you can find it or you're in Europe. So I wish this would be a little bit more widely available and maybe I just don't know all of the places it's sold because, ah, oh, it is such a beautiful, exotic, tropical, floral fragrance that I love and it has terrific lasting power and sillage. One of my absolute hands down favorite tropical beachy floral fragrances in this entire collection is this one right here. It's Kayali Utopia Vanilla Cocoa 21. If I had to rapidly choose five perfumes out of all this group, this would be one of the first ones I would take in this category because it really personifies the exotic tropical floral like no other. So this is beautiful exotic white florals it has a little bit of coconut, some vanilla. It is just so incredibly delicious and luxurious. It has a little bit of that beachy suntan lotion vibe because of the white florals and the coconut. It also has a little bit of vanilla, but it's not too vanillic or overly sweet. It just feels like summer. This is the perfect quintessential hot weather summer fragrance, but you must be on board with white flowers because there are a lot of them in here. I just love that perfume. Maybe the most tropical and exotic of them all, particularly when it comes to fruits. This is like tropical fruits in a bottle. This is another beautiful creation by City Rhythm. This is called St. John's. This came out last year and this has all the beautiful tropical fruits. So if you love your tropical fruits, you are going to love this. So this has, oh my gosh, this is so fruity and juicy and delicious. So this has, I wanna say it has quince, it has passion fruit, it has guava. Maybe it has a little bit of mango. It's just so delicious. It has a richness to it, a thickness to it, but it's not overly syrupy. So it's very different from Sunplosion, which is very light and musky. This is on the heavier, juicier, fruitier side. So the most tropical fruity one in the bunch. It is the perfect juicy, fruity sweetness without being overbearing or too heavy. And it has a little splash of lime and a subtle hint of cane sugar. I don't know if this has any florals. If it does, they are so in the background, I'm not picking them up because those tropical fruits are just so perfectly front and center. I cannot recommend more highly this perfume if you love those tropical exotic fruits. Last but certainly not least is the, I think it's the newest release by Sniff, and this is called Coco Shimmy. Now I've only had this for a couple of weeks, but I am absolutely loving it, and that's why it didn't make my coconut video, but this is, this is a tropical beach in a bottle. This fragrance is so nostalgic, it smells like the beach. To me, this smells like you coated yourself with a vanilla Tonka suntan lotion, not sunscreen, suntan lotion, so it's creamy, it's sweet, and you are lying on the beach next to a recently waxed surfboard. I grew up on the beach, so I know that scent 
very, very well. And right next to you, you are sipping or you've been sipping on a melting, cold, slushy, thick pina colada. So you're baking in the sun and you're drinking this delicious pineapple-y coconut pina colada. And off in the distance, there is like sandalwood driftwood if there is such a thing, which I don't think so. But anyways, you get the drift. So this has a, it's very tropical, it's very beachy, it's very beautiful, coconutty, tonka, pineapple, a little bit waxy, and then it has the most beautiful sandalwood dry down. It is gorgeous. And when I spray this, I spray this about six to eight times and I can get this most of the day, at least six hours, so that's it. I know I went really quickly, some of you love it when I go quickly and others are like, I like it when you have long videos, but I have a lot of ground to cover, so I had to kind of speed through these. If I didn't mention any of your favorite exotic tropical floral or fruity perfumes, let us all know in the comments below. I think a lot of us read the comments. Hey, thanks again for sticking around. Thanks for watching. If you have been enjoying my content and are not yet subscribed, I would love it if you would join my YouTube community and give me a like. It really does help my video. And with that, I'll see you on the next one.